Starting. This conference will now be recorded. All right, guys, today is Tuesday, October 15th. And as always, everything that we're going to be talking about today is for educational purposes only and nothing is intended as any type of investment advice. All right, so WWW, uh, WWRs, which Doug just put into the, uh, no, excuse me, the, uh, Nitesh just put into the chat room, we can see is on a huge jump. But just looking at things as I was just talking right now, I didn't really see too much that was going on above this six level for this thing really to be able to uh, to make any type of run on. So not as much buying. Now you have to understand you get less big prints when the fact that the orders are very thin and it's moving this much because there's just not as many people looking to buy and sell bigger shares. But overall, need to see new buying coming in a lot more of it around above that six level for us to be able to continue back towards that upside so then obviously we have bimi from yesterday we are definitely going to be keeping an eye on this as well one thing that we do want to look for we wanted to hold this 10. um if we're able to hold the 10 remember yesterday at that 10 level we really didn't get much i think there were three ask prints that came into there so there's not a ton that's really sitting there um which is not a good a great thing <laughs> and unfortunately, as we know from yesterday, we can't short it either. So we're going to need to look to that long side. But one thing that we want to look at is just like I said, we want to be able to hold that 10, obviously trigger back up towards that buying. Now, we had a little bit of buying at 13. I think there was one print that I was able to see. Uh, two prints <laughs> for 2,000 shares at 13. So nothing really that special, but there is still buying up there. So we're obviously going to be keeping an eye on it. RETA, next one looking at. So we can see this took a huge jump up from 100, about a $50 jump overnight. Um, one thing though is that the prints are just kind of few and far between, and I'm not really seeing much new buying that came up here. I mean, obviously you have one print here, but then we can see uh, dual prints coming in, and uh, 45,000, uh, 4,500 and 2,500 shares are large prints um, for this. Um, so keep that in mind. Now, obviously, I want to see a little bit better of a show of hand, but it's still looking real good. Next thing looking at is JPM. So JP, they had uh, earnings, and obviously, as we uh, I think they had earnings, and we can see that they jumped up um, a pretty substantial amount over our print lines. We're coming up to that 119. I like these prints we just saw at 119.10. Um, and you could come back over here, you could see that burst at 118.60. So we do have some decent, you know, all, all the bigger prints really are buying. Um, just we're coming up to the 120 level. So that's going to be a, uh, yeah, a bunch of, uh, yeah, so that's going to be a little bit rough to be able to break that 120. We want to make sure that we continuously see that new buying coming in. Now, two other things that I have out there. First thing is on our side list, APHA. Now, it's not great, but there is a little bit of buying as we came back up above that five level. OK, and you can see high above that five level right underneath that 550. So um, it's not terrible, but I'm you know, it's a side list stock. I want to see if we can get some volume pumping into it and if we get a push at least back up towards that double top. And then obviously SES from yesterday. I just don't have as much confidence in this one as I do in BIMI. It's just in a better spot. So that's why this is on our side list and BIMI is on our normal list. Uh, but you can see right here really trying to hold this. Uh, the support level right at 1550 based off of coming down yesterday in the aftermarket and then kind of you know pushing back down towards there during our pre-market so 1550 is really going to be the number that i'm looking at over there so overall not a bad pre-market at all now anything else out there that i missed anything else out there All right, sounds good. So let's get ready for our morning. Remember, as always, let's make sure we go over our post-it notes, our weaknesses for this morning going into the open. Let's make sure we focus on the most important one that's going to make the biggest difference in our trading, okay, right before the market opens. All right, guys, so remember, DM me for Traders Exchange, and I will talk to everyone in the chat. Happy trading.